Welcome back to a brand new episode of Outdoor Influencer. Guys, today I'm going to be magnet fishing with my buddy Danny Dip. Hey. He brought us to a brand new location. Where are we today? We are in Lake Station at a brand new bridge. You can even see junk on the freaking mud. We got bikes in the mud. It looks like a safe in the mud, in the water, car parts, lots of stuff here, guys. All right, guys, so with that said, let's grab the magnets, head over to the bridge, and do some magnet fishing today. All right, guys, that just got a really big pull. This thing's super heavy. Oh, it's heavy. What is that? Is that a bicycle? It's a bicycle. You got that. <laughs> Dude, that is an old bike. No way, it is an old bike. I thought too. it was a BMX with the blue tires. <laughs> no, that's an old bike. Well, I think it was really heavy. It's been down there for a while. Look at all that rust and everything on there, the entire chain, all the spokes and everything is rusted off this bike. All right, guys, let's set that right there. Man, that thing was wicked old, man. Man, I would say definitely from the 70s or 80s. All right, guys, so let's try it again. Let's see if we can get something else again. Oh, I think we got another click. Yeah, we definitely got something on there. It's not real heavy. I don't know what we got right here. Okay, so I just pulled this off my magnet. I thought it was a piece of uh, rebar or something. But if you look right there, there's actually a bead. I think this might be a gun barrel. Check this out. I think this is a gun barrel. Yeah, that's a, yeah that is a gun barrel. Chopped up gun barrel. Wow, it's got the weight too. Dude, there's a gun in here somewhere. We gotta yep. find it, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so Danny says he's got something coming up in a bag over here. Oh, it's a drill. Oh, all it's kinds a, of tools. It's really. a whole bunch of tools, probably <laughs> all stolen. What else is in here? Oh, pocket knives. Oh, look, a little Dude, bag in here. Dude, pocket knife. What is this? What is all this stuff? What is this? That looks like a scale. That's it's what a that scale. is. Oh, this is a diabetes thing. So be careful, there might be needles in there. Oh, yeah. And whatever that is, another drill bit. Someone stole a, it. looks like someone's bag probably out of their car. All right, we just pulled up something again from the bottom. It's not heavy, but it was a little click. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It looks like we got bicycle forks. <laughs> another pair of bicycle forks. That means there is another bicycle down yeah. there somewhere. Nice oh, job, man. Jeff. Man, we're gonna find all kinds of crazy bicycle parts. And who knows what else today, guys. Plus it in a pile. Oh, we just had another click, guys. We got something else coming up. This is decent, too. Looks like it's got some wire. I believe it might be a sewage pipe. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a sewage pipe. Like a cap. Maybe a cap to a sewage pipe. I'm guessing what that is. Yeah, I got something again, guys. What is that? Oh, it looks like a lot of sheet metal and, like... Rusty nails and some more pipe and stuff. Not really sure what this Not thing bad, is. Not man. Lots of scrap. That's good to get out the yeah. water. Looks like some type of uh, switch, maybe. All right, we got something big. All oh, it popped off, unfortunately. But it does feel like there's still some weight on this magnet. Oh, yeah. What is this? What? Oh, I think it was an old tire. I think that's what we had. There's still something on there dangling. Oh, it's a wheel to like a shopping cart, guys. Look at that. Yeah, it's definitely a wheel to a shopping cart. Let's toss it in the pile. All right, we got some decent weight coming up again, guys. Oh, it's the bottom to a shopping cart. We got it. Look at that, guys. That's a bottom to a shopping cart. Holy cow, we just found the wheel earlier, and now we found the rest of the shopping cart. How the heck does something like this get in this area? There's no shopping malls or anything around this area. But Danny found that earlier. So this is probably to the shopping cart as well. All right, guys, Danny just got a gun over here. It looks like a Glock or Smith & Wesson. No way. Holy cow, guys. Oh, it does look like a Glock. It is a Glock, my first Glock, guys. Heck yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah, Glock. Man, that's like an $800 gun. Oh, loaded. Oh, loaded too, is that 40 cal? It is cleared, guys. You can see we just cleared that gun. If you guys don't know about guns, a Glock, pretty much, the only thing magnetic, if I can get the mag out again, is not even the magazine, actually. The bullets, you might stick two through it. <laughs> I doubt it. But the slide and the barrel and all that is the only thing magnetic on these Glocks. All right, guys, we just pulled something up out of the mud. And pull slow so we don't lose it. Got some good sheet metal right there. Oh yeah, this is feeling like some good weight. Oh, it's just connected to something else. Hopefully we don't lose it. Oh, we still got it. This is heavy. What the heck is this stuff? Oh, it's a big magnetic rock, unfortunately. We find these all the time. No, that's not a magnetic rock. That's just a big piece of metal. Kind of like an asteroid. I don't think that's an asteroid, but it's definitely heavy. 
I've never really found a big piece of steel before. I think we might hold on to that just in case. Another thing I found, this is actually a rivet to the bridge. I believe that's what this is. If I'm wrong, just let me know down in the comments. But we'll put it in our pile. All right, guys, so Danny found a surface find over here. He's gonna go ahead and pull this up so we can go ahead and get it out of the water. Oh, yeah. Another bicycle out of the water today, guys. Small bicycle, <laughs> and it has, like, pegs on it. I thought that was scooter handlebars. That's a Harlow, bro. Is that seriously a Harlow? GT. No way, GT. Too bad it's all broken, man. That would've been worth some money. All right, so I'm gonna grab this for Danny. If anybody knows anything about GT bicycles, if you guys look on eBay, these bicycles go for up to $2,000 restored. I mean, this thing it doesn't have any good parts, unfortunately, but it's still cool finding it. All right, guys, three bikes in the pile. All right, guys, no joke. I just threw on this side and I'm already pulling something up and this is heavy. It's another bicycle. No way. Oh, yeah, All right, yeah, we yeah. got it again, guys. There's no way I would have been able to Dude, carry this without so you, Danny. so many old bikes. Is this like the old like dumping ground for when you like get flat tires in the, back in the day? Yeah, I suppose you just throw them off when you get done with them. All right, guys, so here's a closer look at the bike. As you guys can see, it's definitely an old bike, more likely from the 70s or 80s. It's been down there for over 20 plus years. All the spokes have already been rusted. The chain's completely gone. It's covered in algae. This thing is a total loss. But we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna drag it over there and put it in the pile. I had to run across the road, guys. There was cars coming in. It'll slow down for you. Four bikes, guys. I don't think I've ever found four bicycles in one day. That's like a new record for me. All right, guys, let's pick this back up. We're going to toss it back out there. I love finding stuff, but I do not want to find any more bicycles, the guys, today because they're just too heavy. And I don't know if I can handle up any more bicycles. I barely got that one up. It wasn't for Danny. I don't think I would have got that bicycle up. All right, we just connected to something again. This is really heavy. It feels like another bicycle. It is, it's another bicycle. It's number five, guys. Number five bicycles today. Oh, oh man, it just oh, popped back bike. off. But we got something else on there. Oh, no. we'll find it. Jeff is the bike whisperer today, guys. Oh, uh, we got old cans and more pieces of the bicycle, but let's clean the magnet off. We're gonna toss it back out there. We're gonna try to pull up number five. First, I gotta find it. Oh, I think I got it again. Oh no, we got something else this time. What is this? Is that a sign? I think we got a sign. Hopefully you can read it. Let's see if it's legible. It's definitely an old sign, guys. Get the magnet off and see if there's anything on it. Oh, it is. Oh, it's uh, too bad it's too old. I cannot read what it says, but I believe it's a no parking on bridge sign. All right, we have some more stuff. It looks like some scrap metal, but I don't think it is. I don't know what this is. Look at this, guys. This is like a, uh, Oh, it's an old like container or something. There's some old writing. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what this writing could be, let me know down in the comments. It's a pretty cool bottle. Too bad it wasn't attacked, but I can definitely tell you it's probably from the 70s. So this just got a blue anchor oh, to a boat. Dude. I did. I got a blue anchor. Look I've at that. I've never seen one like that. That's in good shape too, man. Dude, you should clean that up and use it for your, uh, your <laughs> boat. Yeah, I'm going to keep that, guys. I'm getting ready to buy a boat so me and Danny can go magnet fishing. And I think I'll keep this anchor. We can use it on the boat. All right, guys, we got another click. It looks like a pipe or a dry shaft to a vehicle. I think it's a muffler, actually. No, that's an exhaust pipe. Look at that, guys. We got an exhaust pipe here. All right, guys, so I'm going to pick up my rope. We're going to end this video, guys. I ain't, what the heck is that? What? I just found a pocket knife here, guys. Just sitting here on the ground. That's crazy. Heck yeah. All right, guys, as you can see, Danny dipping me. We're loading up the back of his truck. We're gonna pick up all of our stuff and we're gonna take it to the recycling bin at the end of this video. It is probably, we did pull the mag out and check if there's one in chamber. Yes, it could work. This is jammed up good. Someone must prepare more than us. Get your uh, driver's license on you. Yeah. Can you read it? Let's see. Oh, there's, there's a couple. Oh, it's not stressed out? Okay. Since we're working on the side. 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 Go ahead. Yeah, it's clear as day on there. <laughs> 
Indiana operator 39001315 Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. That, fellas. Okay Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hey, thank you. All right. Uh, it'll be a while. It'll be a while, but yeah, can I still get up? months. I know. I know. I, I called back. Uh, I found one six months ago. I'm actually picking it up from Illinois. Oh, are you? Yeah. So well, I just, I, the issue is our stuff goes to Clay County to get. Yeah, that's. So I got to clean it, take everything apart, and send it up here. They do both six on it. Okay. Then, I'll, then we'll know. So we'll give them a. Uh, that's what the case number is. You'll give it to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, no problem, guys. Hey, thank you, sir. Hey, have a great day. All right, Danny. The police just left. What did they tell you? So guys, they said that uh, sadly I won't be getting the gun back because it's so fresh. Honestly, I think they kind of want it, but who knows how that's going to go. They said they got to send it all the way up uh, north about 30 miles to another company or something or another uh, police department to get it clean and do ballistics and all that. So hopefully it does come back to something. Hopefully it's not a homicide though, but if it is, hopefully it brings closure to a family or loved one. But he said uh, the way it was looking, because they cleared it and they took it apart, it's not rusted on the inside, so it has to be in between the six month mark to a year that it was in there. So it is pretty fresh. So with that being said though guys, let's roll outro.